All right. Good morning to you. Happy Friday. Friday bonus. Uh, sitting inside my virtual, <laughs> my virtual office. This is the office of my imagination. Uh, I wanted to give you a little bit of a bonus uh, at the end of uh, each week, and this is where uh, I want to share a small nugget that really has helped propel me uh, in my business ventures. Um, and I'm on, I'm on the track, not unlike all of you that I, I really want to grow after, uh, each experience that I go through. Um, so every, every time I make a good deal or, um, I, you know, I celebrate a win, um, I'm always looking for that next opportunity, uh, to grow into the next phase of my journey. Um, and knowing that the journey is pretty much my focus of the goal, um, I have a, a, a large target that I'm going after. Uh, at the same time, uh, I have my goal uh, as, or one of my goals, uh, as enjoying the journey along the process. And when you're working in this type of an environment now, I mean, uh, I've been in sales rooms, been in quote unquote boiler rooms. Um, there's a new found way of communicating in today's world and using the mediums such as Zoom and using uh, other types of uh, like Teams and um, chat and uh, Slack and all of these other uh, modes of communication, uh, it, it, it becomes a, a new world of remote working. And right now, currently, my sales teams are scattered all across the world, which is very daunting at times, specifically when I'm working with uh, individuals that like, you know, they're on a complete other side of the world and the time zones are so different. And we joke and laugh about the fact that, uh, you know, you, you, oh, it's uh, it's two o'clock in the morning here and it's, you know, it's uh, it's it's 10 in the evening at this place, but this other person, it's first thing in the morning, you know, it's, 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 it's a, it's a joke it, it, in some, ca in some cases, at the same time, it's very frustrating and it can be daunting um, when you don't actually recognize what you're going through. So um, I, I really always want to identify the simplest ways of being able to make sure that we can keep on track as a remote business and uh, everything that I do now, all uh, all of the companies that I work with, um, we work remotely. And uh, we do meet on occasion throughout the year and we meet at conferences and we also meet at um, specific trade shows. Uh, however, for the most part, everything is done either through the internet, emails, chat versions of different chats, as well as on the phone. So I wanted to share with you um, uh, I, I've been sharing a couple of things. Um, um, most of my training, again, comes from um, the Cardone University Library of Information. I've studied and, and mentored under Grant Cardone um, for uh, a few years now. And I also work with the National Association of Sales Professionals and a mentor under Rod Hairston. And um, sometimes if people say that you can't have more than one mentor, I don't agree. Uh, the objective is to make sure that you have mentors that are all aligned in the same track. And these two individuals that I have um, been mentoring under have uh, similar um, modes uh, of operation. However, they are on in alignment with the same ideal of uh, becoming better and uh, consistently becoming better over uh, the course of your journey. So um, one person that I really gained a lot of information on remote um, working is Todd Straw. Um, Todd Straw is a director of sales for Grant. He is actually the person behind Grant's sales team. So, you know, where we were learning a lot of information from Grant on how he does sales, he also has instilled um, the, the or given the reins of his sales team to uh, another individual. And Todd has been doing it since I think uh, 2015. And, and a very amazing sales director um, where he manages um, a similar, uh, in a similar way, he has a, a, a set team that he can actually keep his hands on. And then there's an entirely larger network of uh, sales individuals that he has an overall um, vision or, or visual uh, um, access to from the internet. And um, he has an, an amazing way of keeping things in order. So I wanted to share with you really quick, uh, a quick little blurb. He, um, there's a, 
uh, uh, inside the library of um, Cardone University um, as a licensee, we I have access to um, a few programs. And one of the programs that they have is, is a, a how to manage a remote team. And then right, right before COVID is when um, this, this was really instilled because um, Grant Cardone kind of saw in, in, into the future and knew that this was most likely going to wind up being the mode that we were going to transfer into um, when people started to leave the workplace and work from home. And technology has given us the abilities to be able to continue to do um, those work and do it more effectively. However, there are some key points and I'm gonna share these points with you from Todd Straw, Director of Sales at Cardone University, or actually he's just Grant Cardone's uh, Director of Sales behind the scenes, the actual sales team that sells uh, all of uh, Grant Cardone's products. So let's take a couple minutes and, and listen to uh, commitment and structure uh, commitment to structure and consistency from Tatstra. All right. So the first key to winning in a remote environment is a commitment to structure. There must be a commitment to structure. And with that commitment to structure, that's part one of the equation. Part two is there must be a commitment to consistency. Structure Consistency are the keys to winning in a remote environment. Uh, there's going to be a couple other pillars that we're going to lay on, but right now I really want to hammer in the point with structure. What do I mean by structure? Well, structure is is the blueprint. It's a framework. It's it's the drawing to the house before you build the house. It's what is the kitchen going to look like before we bring the hammers in and the nails and the screws and the concrete. What is the outline? What is the final product? And what are the, the, the pillars that are going to be holding this, this structure together? And a commitment to structure in a remote environment means that your people will have stable things that they can count on and predict that will happen, things that will be drilled into their schedule, things that they don't have to think about, and things that they just know will happen on a given day at a certain time. And that's the number one thing that we want to create for your people. We want to create... Nothing has really changed except for the place I sit down and work at. And nothing really changes except for maybe the clothes that I wear every single day. You might have some variance in your, in your uh, outfits and your, you know, your sort of uh, clothing dress code procedures. But those should really be the only two differences that your people notice when you're in a remote environment. So uh, my number one target when we go remote, whether it's for a hurricane, a natural uh, disaster, whether we... Uh, are, are being shut down by governments and we actually cannot work in the office. The number one thing is have as little change as possible, create as much predictability as possible for my people and a commitment to structure will ultimately be one of the key drivers to your success in a remote environment. All right. So that's the uh, a very basic and very fundamental key point. And it, I love going back to the basics and I love hearing it from individuals who, who strictly go through these things on a regular basis and on larger scales. And it gives me an idea when I'm scaling it down into a smaller unit to still focus on these basics. And even though he's got 200, 300 individuals he's looking after, it's still at small basics. Like for my team, I have them focus on opportunities, they focus on closing ratio. They focus on the average daily sale of up, upselling and cross-selling. And then they also keep in mind their sales cycle. Um, and we speak on this on a regular basis. And then I also have my team focus on their vision. So anytime a person is, uh, the first thing that they do when they come on my team is they have to write a vision. And um, even if it takes you a week or so to get it going, you still have to write it and I will continuously ask for it. It's not a requirement, but it's something that, I mean, it's not really like a deadline. You have to have it by this time or you're fired more. So it's, it's, this is something that I want you to continuously work on and present it to me when you're ready. And I'll coach you along to get you to, to get it done as soon as possible. And, and then add your focus points to that. And it's the consistency of making you focus on your vision to, help keep it in alignment with the company's vision. And then it also helps build the culture because the, our culture is we are focused and we are externally um, focused as far as 
the things that we are um, uh, working on. And then we are internally focused when it comes to how we want to present ourselves to the company. So we have a vision of what we are doing with the company. And then we have a vision that we do with ourselves. We look at ourselves and how we interact with the company. And it really builds a strong culture. But it's a consistency of, con of communicating that as well as working through all of the pain points and problems and struggles that go along with all of the, uh, the, the aforementions, working with looking at your opportunities, as well as your closing ratio, and as well as your average daily sales. What are you upselling? What are we cross-selling? How are we communicating with our current customers as well as our prospects? And these are consistent points. Now, you have may have different points in your company, but the focus is for you to make sure you consistently bring these up in your meetings, have consistency with your meetings, and have consistency and commitment to uh, attending uh, any types of uh, phone calls, follow-ups, or, or anything of that nature. So this is a little, a little extra thing. Maybe jot down some notes, maybe something you want to add. Um, when you're um, working with your team or you're working in a team to even instill as you don't necessarily have to be the leader to instill these things. You can instill these things personally and then have that expressed to your team in your performance. And you will see uh, incremental results that will increase in scale over time. All right. Biz Dev Morning, Do Biz Dev Morning Brew bonus Friday. Have a fantastic weekend. And if you have any questions, please leave me a message in the comments below or send me a DM. Uh, however you want to reach out to me if you can. Um, this is the, the thing we're going to continue to do with my consistency to present to you Biz Dev Morning Brew Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with a bonus Friday. Have a fantastic weekend. Be safe.